Vampire is an action RPG that places you in the role of a newly made vampire in the streets of 20th century London during the Spanish flu epidemic. The main draw of the game is laid out right at the beginning. The more people you kill, the easier the game will be. Each person in Vampire's gothic take on London has an identity and a story to tell. You may choose to murder and quickly gain XP to become more powerful, but in doing so you'll lose out on dialogue choices and drive districts of the city toward chaos. There's a real sense of weight to taking lives in Vampire. You'll hear the person's final thoughts as you bite into their throat and there's a bit of a haunting feeling to that, as you may talk to someone else later on that was connected with that person and hear how it personally affects them. Don't Nod did a fantastic job building up the world of Vampire and the people within it. You can clearly see where their experience with the Life is Strange series has paid off in terms of dialogue and making difficult choices that have lasting consequences. It's unfortunate then that the main storyline and gameplay didn't do much to really draw me in. The game starts off with the main character, Dr. Jonathan Reed, waking from the dead only to find himself lusting for blood and accidentally killing his sister Mary. But I felt that intro to be too quick and didn't set up Reed as a character enough for me to get emotionally attached or interested in his journey. I didn't find the story to get any better later on in the game either. Specifically, there's an event later on that should have a real emotional weight to it, but just falls flat without the necessary character buildup. I found it quite difficult to find any reason to care about what happens to Reed or the people around him, and for me, that dragged down the entire experience. The rest of the game revolves mostly around doing simplistic investigations and Witcher-like combat with vampire hunters, deranged vampires, and a few boss fights with aggravating difficulty spikes. While it's nice to have these elements in the game, they seem to be at odds with a character whose main motivation is to cure people. It would have made more sense to make all combat in the game optional, but that isn't the case as there are forced boss fights and encounters with enemies. Vampire has an interesting premise and superb world building that's dragged down by a lacking main storyline and combat that doesn't really feel like it needs to be there. Having said that, Vampire is still worth your time because it offers such a different take on how to tackle narrative choice in a video game.